this song I'd like to pay tribute to uh, Rajatan and to the caterpillar and the butterfly and the infinite river of transformation that, that is constant uh, throughout all time and eternity. And so this is to that transformation within all of us. Moms know better. They do know better. Have you ever felt like giving up? You were just falling all over, like, you know, tripping over nothing and I couldn't figure it out. Or have you ever wished you had information or guidance or support of some sort? And I, but I had a gut feeling that there was something wrong and, and even in spite of the doctors saying, you know, that, you know, you were just being lazy and not picking up your feet. It broke my heart. I'll never, ever forget when you were diagnosed. Wait, this is something that... I couldn't cure. I, I couldn't take the pain away. This was something that you had to experience. Being told that your, your child has a major disease. It's such a shock. It just, it just takes everything away. It was Christmas time and I couldn't even look at you. I, I, I cried. I cried and cried and cried. It was just unbelievable. And, 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 and I, I couldn't do anything about it. I could, all I could do was just help and stand by. and and support you. I mean, you know, that it was it was tough. It was really tough. Just to know that I couldn't cure this. It wasn't something that I could take away. I haven't seen this world My name is Hilary Davis. This video is to help you put a voice and a face to my name. I am honored to have been asked and very proud to be the co-author with my son Sonny for the chapter My Son, My Hero in the book Inch by Inch, Growing in Life, compiled by two-time international bestseller Amy Hutton. In my chapter, I introduce you to Sonny Sonny has always been my hero. Sonny has always been my biggest inspiration. And his never give up positive and inspiring attitude. Yes, well, we have bad days. We have, you know, adversity. You still can't let that stop you. You've got to get ahead of it. I, I just found that if, if he didn't give up, and, and the few things that I was getting hit with, well, you know, why should I give up? And I, and I drew from that, and it, it certainly helped, and, and I want to share that. This is a book anthology about children who have overcome adversities such as child abuse, premature births, bullying, living with a disability, and many others. I believe this book is a life changer and could very well be a life saver. Within its pages, I hope you find hope and support. These brave children got through their misfortunes, and so can you. Our launch date is set for August 2. Please buy this wonderful book and help the children at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario in Ottawa as it has been chosen to receive one-third of the proceeds of the book sales on Amazon. This book, to me, is having a place to turn to for inspiration, for support, but still, yeah, I had that gut feeling that there was something more than just you just being lazy and tripping over your feet. I hope that you read the book. I hope that you can draw from this book, from all the stories that you're going to be reading about, and be inspired by the book. So, I think the ones out there need to be seen or not. Go with it. And insist. If, if everybody could just get that into their heads, that take things on little bit by little bit, inch by inch, as the book says. Uh, you know, we can get through anything. The inspiration that I want to give is the fact that um, if we can all ad adopt um, and never give up attitude, 
step back but go another two steps the next day it's important never to ever give up